and so much a, a stock into Nismo. So is the team. He's a raid boss. He's got light shields and a ghost. Wow, that that's cool to see. Uh, I, we don't see that a whole ton. But I think it's interesting. What's even more interesting for me is this setup with the Killjoy utility. Uh, there's an alarm out in towards fence. There's a turret for B. So Killjoy actually not using any utility uh, for Iconic. Instead, it's all for the team, and it will have to be. Pop Flash here is queued up by Ryan. That goes forward. Blind is great. Finds the connection. And look at these frags. No Iconic actually trades it back. Now this retake, very doable for Virtuoso. Yeah, raid boss down. Nismo, one of those players to fall. We do have one player suppressed. Not too much given away in that as they knew exactly where that Killjoy is playing. Poison Cloud going to go through. Wayne just playing on the other side of the smoke. The wall is up and it will be knifed down as they drop down into heaven. Virtuoso have two players on the site. Make it one as the wall. Still keeping one away, Ely. Able to find a frag. Looks to trade it back. It's a 2v2 situation. Iconic being a nuisance, though. The background noise. Ryan hears the footsteps, he fumbles the play, and Virtuoso on the retake will grab the round. Dude, that's just iconic on the retake, to be honest. The grab yeah. well was perfect out of Virtuoso, and then it's just the spam away from Iconic, so maybe we're giving him the credit in weight of the frags, but you gotta shout out this grab well as well. It was yeah. really perfect to find the response in, and I mean, Ryan made it look like they were likely to win that round off of the kind of random shots towards hell, but still iconic keeping things on top with the right clicks well played to virtuoso i thought the flash hit it first but i think the flash actually missed which was crucial because i think iconic was actually kind of chilling and found a gap within that orb so he was never blinded and was still able to take those shots bit unlucky there uh, it's showing some of the growing pains with this ko but regardless it's what virtuoso needed ghost now he actually decided to force into this oh this could get scary and yeah, that they have, and I think outside of winning the round, one of the most important things here is to try and keep those frags away from Iconic, who is two away from the lockdown, mm -hmm. which could obviously, you know, prove to be quite fruitful in one of their bonus rounds once Ghosts do eventually get on those full rifles. So push up into B, the lurk from Chase out towards A. Not going to get just enough right now. Iconic forced to back away. Ghost in hand, look for the reload. And Sniper able to find a couple of frags as they push on through the backup. Coming through, the Calvary has arrived. And Ghost get punished for the force. They are still a player down as Nismo finds a return frag onto the KO. And Ryan hops off the spike a second too early. And it... Results in a death. That is an absolute blunder Yikes. on the play again. Ryan to fumble it and Virtuoso to grab another round. Yeah, I mean, Virtuoso, you expect him to be winning that, but it was looking all right for Ghost. They got a lot of damage in there. They were almost able to get this spike down, but uh, at least Iconic doesn't have the lockdown quite yet. That's something, but still, Ghost, look at this money. Yeah. Nothing really to work with here. He'll have it in this next round, nearly guaranteed. And it's actually a reinvestment out of Virtuoso. Iconic onto a rifle. Everyone else still bonusing. So this early game economy is going to be absolutely flourishing. Ghost definitely going to need to kind of keep up the damage. They cannot let Virtuoso get away with this cleanly, or they're going to have a big mountain to climb. And this could quite possibly be a scarier round for Virtuoso because of those sheriffs and the damage that we've seen from both sides. And almost historically, as Ryan will fall on the other side of a Nebula Smoke, Apoth. Grab that first frag. Working on building up that Cosmic Divide. Fragment going to force the team back. It works in pulses and it finds good damage. Sniper gets traded out. Win. Able to find one. It's a bit closer to the resurrection. I'm not too sure what utility is still available on the side of Ghost, but it is just still those pistols. So Virtuoso should be able to walk away with this round, especially with that weapon not being able to be picked up. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good look. And you see Nismo, he's very paranoid here. Has to clear deep in towards spawn. Not going to happen. Nothing really flanking quite yet. Bit of pressure in towards vents, but... I don't think it was ever noted, so Chase will just make that rotation. Try and wrap up with the team here, but Apoth very ready. Nice little spray of eight. Finds three on the round thus far, and Ghost Gaming. 20 seconds? I, I really don't see this happening whatsoever, especially with Iconic with the Swarms. Like, everything is against them here. They, they might try and run back A. Nah, they're fully committed here. 10 seconds. Round should be over. Ely in position. It's Iconic instead with a double. So that lockdown will eventually come online. Virtuoso will find their way to three. However, Ghost now, the punishment for the force is over. They've got some money to work with. 
It's, that's almost best case scenario for a team that is going to be coming into this bonus round because you have such a large piece of utility, right? Everybody's still a couple of orbs away from having their ultimates, whereas Iconic has the lockdown. So whether it be in stopping a push or playing the retake, uh, that lockdown should be huge and could be crucial in stealing away another round, which would force Ghost back to upgraded pistols quite possibly. So we'll see if that is going to be the case. In this bonus round, Apoth, Sheriff in hand, looking to find some tag damage, some chip damage through the box. Able to find it just yet. Poison Cloud goes through Nismo to find the first kill. Sniper trying to bring up the rear and be that cavalry once more. The reinforcements will fall in the snake bite. Has just a bit of time to keep the team split. Nismo on the opposite side. It's full control of ropes. That he does. Actually trying to hunt for this, but that should be heard. The assessment is ready. Iconic on the swing. Well timed. Minus 400 and minus a life. Koala though. Oh, this gets so weird. Apoth heard that. He's able to capitalize. That's a gun found, but across the map, trade is good. So it's a 3v3. Ghost fully in possession of this site. But Wynn's still in a great position here. He can fight ramp control. He can delay this retake. A very important frag to have. when going to toss the wall down. It does get taken down immediately and well you didn't see the sage cross so you have to know she's still in the area when to fall it's ghost down to their last two as ryan plays underneath heaven position given but a kill found now needs to find some more full utility but just afraid to pull it out can't do it just yet there's the pop flash lin able to play the counter on the other side of the wall very healthy on the sage but unfortunately your health doesn't matter when you're running out of time and well, containment now the name of the game. Looking to keep the weapons nice and close. No to find way. the frags. Lin should go down themselves. But, I mean, that is not a... Okay, Lin oh. survives finding a weapon. And it's not a round win. But it feels like a round win. Yeah, man. Uh, everyone on Virtuoso... Or, excuse me, everyone on Ghost is dead every single round. We see the punishment for that. The money sucks. And yeah. it's still a lot in the back pocket of Virtuoso. They have an op up for Lin in this one. Like... Great round out of Virtuoso, to be honest. I love how Ryan plays in Hell here, though. He knows there's another opponent likely close, and he knows that that opponent is kind of in that no-nade zone, so he doesn't fumble around with the utility. I think a lot of newer players, especially on someone like Kale, get overcommitted to using the util, right? You want to use as much as possible. You want to make sure you're finding that impact. So so they might greed for it, but doesn't happen here. And Lin again, like, I don't know, man. Maybe Jet is dead, and, and Sage Op is the new meta, because it's looking fantastic for this guy. Yeah, and so it, it it feels like you didn't get much there because the res resurrection is used, but that's exactly what you're hoping for. You know, if not the 5v4 for the rest of the round, that you buy out one of those large ultimates. So now resurrection gone, and that's a shieldless player as well. So 5v5, but Virtuoso still in control. And so on top of that, because the economy is so bad, it's light shields basically across the field. So it just feels so bad for Ghost right now. They should be careful. It's iconic. Gonna be the first to fall on the side of Virtuoso. Fragment not gonna force Chase out of the corner. The rest of the squad bringing up the rear, and it's the Calvary for Ghost instead. Nismo will find the frag. Virtuoso down to their last three with the Cosmic Divide and a Resurrection to play with themselves. We'll see how they work around the retake. I think Virtuoso might save this. I'm not sure. They they can still definitely commit if they find an early pick. You see them kind of stalling out, waiting for aggression to come, but. Ghost isn't over pushing this just yet, and I think mm -hmm. that this likely seals the fate. Like, this has been decided for him. It's just gonna be the save. This is another thing about Virtuoso that I love. It it's the control. They're they're not a team who needs to greed for these retakes. I think we'd see a lot of a lot of squads in this kind of tier of play go for this, just make the confidence play and likely lose these guns. But they'll hold on to them. They know their money is in kind of a pivotal spot right now, so they'll have a great buy into this next one. And they'll keep a lot of alts into the next as well. But for Ghost. It's just a great reassessment. They lose mm -hmm. the man towards B main, commit the res there, head their way on over towards the A site. The execute is looking fantastic. And Virtuoso, after losing the fight towards Rance, was just stuck into the retake play. That's never going to happen with the utility, with the weapons that they have on standby. And for Ghost, that was their round to lose, right? It was light armors across the board, which means sure. on, a, on a tight map like Split, the Phantoms, the, the Vandals obviously are the one tap headshot, but the Phantoms become that much more powerful and they were still able to find that round. So a, a solid pickup at that because of what they were working with. And if you lose that one, you're back on pistols. You're in a really scary spot. So a good on Ghost to be able to steal that round away. Unfortunately, coming into this next one, they're looking at four ultimates on the side of Virtuoso. And it's only the showstopper here 
for Nismo. So we'll see if that gets any value or even gets used here in this one. As for Virtuoso, if you let that spike go down again, you have all the tools necessary for a retake. Now that you do elite spam up towards the ramp here, bit of info garnered by the lack of a ping off of that knife with Chase. Sam's actually very close to finding damage, but it isn't. Virtuoso here, they have all the util for a retake, and you see the passive line as a result. You see the op in play, and well, you see Ryan fall. Great frag. The gravel is immediately there to follow up, and now the next kind of step in this line of succession is Iconic on his ultimate. If he uses this here, he could fully screw up this round for Ghost, but this one is still in position up towards Heaven, and Lin might be going for a second dip. And you saw the cogs turning. That oh, Nismo, wow. a very narrow angle. But Lin is still able to find the frag and Virtuoso looking to get back to their winning ways. Try and grow that lead to two once more. And with that frag, surely you shouldn't need to invest any more right, ultimates exactly. just yet. As iconic looks to play a bit of a cross, maybe first to contact onto Koala. Will pay for it with his life. Win gonna find the return frag, but in a 2v4 situation, make it a 1v4 situation. Win needs to find the ace on the round to tie things up for Ghost Gaming. And a very tall task, running out of time with the spike in hand. He's gonna push through the nebula, smoke, the barrel peaks first, and well, he's met by the rounds of Apoth. His Virtuoso find their fourth. Yeah, that they will. It's a good scoreline to garner here. And like you mentioned, they didn't really commit anything in way of ultimates into that round. All they really committed was Lin on the off. He's finding so much impact even from these passive lines. And you can tell that it's just well read by Virtuoso. They were planning to have to use the lockdown in that round. You saw that Iconic was primed to yeah. use it. And that's why Lin was so passive to begin with. Because they were giving up that space, primed to retake it. But they don't even need to because they find the frags early on. Ghost Gaming definitely struggling up against this utility cocktail. And honestly, I think Ascent would have been a lot closer if Virtuoso started defense because their comps benefit so well from this side of play. And we jump into another round, round seven, where the same ultimates are available for both teams. We're still waiting for that Viper's Pit to slowly bring up the rear. Unfortunately, Ely hasn't been able to get too deep into the action, but Nismo still sitting on the showstopper. I'm not too sure how long that statement will stand true, I would imagine. Off the back end of one frag, you're looking to open things up with the next. The, the problem here for Ghost is outside of that flash from your KO and maybe the boom bot here, it is hard to chase Lin away. So that operator is just going to continue to find value. So with some noise heard, Iconic is going to opt into using that lockdown. Nobody there to stop it. So it will force everybody from Ghost away and maybe make their final destination BA. Seem to be Lin again. He's always in the right place at the right time with the right shot. Great frag found. Another opportunity. Ooh, almost connects it. It's Ely instead up top. Ely even escaping. Lin chiming in. They're just getting dismantled. You can't yep. even enter the site when it's these two holding it down. His mount. This is another save already. Yeah, this is going to force Ghost into a really tough spot in terms of economy. They've been able to string together a couple of buys, but uh, they haven't been able to find anything in terms of rounds. And again, it's that operator. There's just nothing to push it away. And most importantly, we talked about the lockdown all game. And it just found so much value and such an important round because it 100%. not only helped win that round, but it helps win this next. Yeah, it, it really does because now this puts the money into a weird spot. This puts, I mean, Ghost in general into a weird spot because what can they get done? They've tried defaulting. And the goal of defaulting is to withdraw as much utility as possible. But... Literally, this entire Virtuoso comp is just utility. Like, it is just like, it's a cancer just spreading through the map that just like builds its way forward at every opportunity given. Uh, and it's so hard to bait it out because Virtuoso holds it pretty close to their chest. Like you saw uh, that that moment a couple rounds ago where, where the lockdown wasn't popped. They know exactly when to use this. And just look at this, the spam, not good enough to shut down Ely. And now he's in the wall. What is going on? The push forward, three frags in this anti-eco. is just looking so clean. Lin with the op should find the last and that he will. Maybe even considering the reds for the eco, but they're so good right now. Why even use it? No need. Hang on to it to maybe quite possibly win another round in the future when you need an extra player. But 
Uh, we take another look here is Ely on the other side of the wall. But before that happened, it was Lin who was caged off. Ely also. But once you start hearing those footsteps stomping through a main, you just start spraying them down. Ely was able to find a frag there. Then two more on the round, which brings that Viper's Pit online. So now you've kind of traded. Iconic, unfortunately, didn't get a whole lot done in that round. But his lockdown in the next or in the previous made that a force like we were talking about or made that an eco. Excuse me. Like we were talking about. Now that Viper's Pit can completely lock down an area of the map, and it looks like it might be used out towards mid. Yeah, that it does. Virtuoso here. Just looking so fantastic. There's a new setup every round. This time it's Lin back in towards main. He's actually gone up past his wall. Apoth is holding the smoke. The spam is there. And I mean, they've already whittled down. Like 40 seconds on the clock. Ghost has gained nothing. All they've done is expel their own utility. Just to clear out this much space, right? They've yeah. pushed up to the top of the stair, not even the bottom of the stairs of mid, and they still have a crossfire to worry about. They still, okay, well, Sniper does give up mid for a second, and it allows Chase to finally get some value paint shells and get some damage onto Apoc. Up in the corner out towards heaven. And the Sentinels, they were looking to duel. Iconic should have come out on top of that one, but as Chase runs away, Iconic looks to go aggressive in Ismo. Maybe take Chase's place. Instead, it's going to be everybody but one. We're going to push up into B Heaven. Unfortunately, not going to find the Viper there as Nismo goes through. Blast packs, paranoia, all the utility used for now as Ely is still alive, still finding frags. The wall goes up, the wall not taken down. So it's going to funnel Ely right into the welcome arms of Koala, who will find the frag and open up the B site completely. Great ult from Koala. They've been struggling with space, but Lin, oh, he gets one time is still there. Spike will come down. If that frag came through just four seconds later, mm -hmm. this would have been a different game. Now it's just Iconic in the clutch. Wall keeps him at bay for the moment. It has a turret to play with, so we'll use that one for the information. Able to find the frag onto Huynh. Only a bit of damage traded back. Two more to worry about. Playing out towards Pillar. Camera taken down. Drop onto the side. And Iconic just clearing every single corner. And the worst part about it is well, now you're down to 10 rounds. Make it 19 available with the reload needed. 14 rounds in the magazine as the clock continues to tick. The weapon swap available, but not going to be used as the weapon or the spike gets tapped. Chase will find the frag and Ghost will finally find themselves back in the win column. That they will. It's a good time for Ghost to pick it back up because this was starting to get to the position where things were really spiraling out of control. They don't even need to use their tactical pause. And uh, I mean, I got to give credit there um, to the to the raise there. Just absolutely finding so much space. Ismo did a great job of opening that up. The trades came through. I feel like Ghost has kind of struggled that just the full send sacrifices because of Virtuoso's utility play. But in this round, they get it done. As well as Koala, the ult towards spawn. Uh, found a lot of space there they managed to capitalize off of. So it's a good look. I mean, if Ghost goes 8-4 here, I think they're totally fine, to be honest, because this comp is so defensive-sided for Virtuoso. Yeah, that is the next point that I was going to make, that, I mean, even split alone, I feel like for a lot of teams, can lead on the defense. So you say, you know, you put up 4 or 5 on attack, and say, okay, as soon as we swap, we should be A-OK, -okay. especially when you have somebody who is just as good as Lin with the Operator, and we're seeing just how much value that Sage is getting. Imagine what Koala or Huynh are going to be able to do once they start mounting their defense, but we're not there yet. We've got a Viper's Pit to worry about out towards mid. Not last round, but this round, so kind of making me a liar is Ely, but either way, it does get used there. And what that does is it either funnels everybody into B main, as we see three players kind of hovering that way. No, it actually looks like Koala going to toss out that paranoia, finds a blind. Nismo going to go in and try and find the frags through the pit. And well, Ely, ready for that one. Able to stop that push. Now the rest of the squad just right into the meat grinder there as Apoth finds two, leaving it all up to Koala. Make it three, a flawless round for Virtuoso. Dude, Astra, everyone was like, Astra's dead. She's coming out of the meta. Uh, Apoth yeah. might be proving everyone wrong because the Astra play has just been excellent from him all game long. I think of at least three or four rounds where Gravwell won everything. Like that pistol round yep. was a fantastic Gravwell. This round, it was a fantastic Gravwell. It, it just keeps happening. And, and Apoth, just proven Astra Viper is still here to stay. Seven to three. 
So Ghost uh, getting reset here onto the Eco. Next round will be their chance to pull things to the 8-4 score line. Uh, on this one, uh, Eco damage doesn't even really matter anymore. Because Virtuoso will have the money anyway. Ult economy damage is really what they need. Get as many of these ults out as you possibly can in this one. So that you can go into that last without having to worry about a res. Without having to worry about that null command. Oh, oh look at that knife. So much information. We saw that knife miss just a few rounds ago. But this time... It's not going to be the case. Does it look like another split towards B with Nismo in heaven? Now the team looking to try and reinforce here. All five stacked up just outside heaven and inside mid. You look to make a play towards A. There's some Killjoy utility to worry about. Is iconic. Able to find a couple frags. I'll make it for looking for the ace. And we will take it. It's an eco ace. But it's an ace no less. Iconic goes huge. Yeah, and that just earned him a lockdown as well. We said the issue was that of kind of garnering uh, ult economy and, and knocking mm. that down a peg for Virtuoso. Pfft, nope, didn't happen. Iconic just gets another <laughs> one. Now they have four to work with in this last round. I imagine they'll be very happy to spam them on out. For Ghost Gaming, though, like, man, this is such an oppressive comp. Like, even I, with, like, look, getting to look at this game with X-Ray, I don't even really know what the play is because there's always... A new adaptation there's always something new to look at maybe it's this emphasis on mid control because that's where they found most of their success right when they work mid try and lurk up take care of that vent spacing and force out rotations but it's just not been working as of late they're trying to make this call in towards b but now they have to worry about oh never mind the null command will destroy the utility but apot's gone is still good for one sniper as well picks one up it's just the down ryan can get res and there is the trades forward so if this res comes through it stays even but the frags keep coming it's iconic on top and on top of the wall as well is ryan win one now it's just left to him no real hp to speak of but he has the heal he has the res back up Oh no! Oh. The Nano Swarm gonna stop the res from getting any value. Now Quinn is gonna get stuck on the site. Will move away and will be awarded that oh, friend no. onto Sniper. Now should just get run down. Tries to sneak away. Well, Iconic the with the blade in hand will find the knife. Another 4K for the Killjoy. Iconic having himself a game here on Split as we swap sides. That, so going into that. It was so hectic. It was the first time we see Ghost really try and take something fast. And for all of that, once Ryan went down from the no command, there was a, a no command in response. So when couldn't yeah. find the res on top of the wall, was wary of a player coming around uh, the corner at any time. And the resurrection was delayed for so long that it wasn't until he was kind of stuck in that safe plant spot that he was able to res and then gets no value because of the nano swarm. It was... Yeah. Ghost tried their hardest, but it was such a solid setup from Virtuoso that nets them, but honestly, one of the best halves that you can get, right? Nine to th eight to four. Everybody says eight to four, still winnable, eight to four, still winnable. We even said that. And now nine to three is in that same case for Ghost, and now they're on their defense, but it's just so much harder being that one extra round down. That really is. Ooh, I think Nismo got a titch of information in towards mid. And look at this setup. I think that's a paranoia towards spawn that can come forward to fight for heaven. Nismo backed away, so no paint shells available just yet. It's Lin. It's completely cut off. A nice fragment. And split the Sage away. And that heal gets a lot of value on the pistol round. Will now be stripped away as that spike makes its way towards the A site. Chase backed off by the toxic screen. Here's the footsteps, though. Know that a couple players move their way on into elbow. Has a cage to work with to try and block some visions. A pot's gonna be the first to contact. No, it's Sniper behind. Oh my, the frenzy for the value. It's three kills as Iconic pops on the board himself. Now Ryan has heaps to get done and just can't do it. What a round from the Virtuoso KO. Wow, Virtuoso, they're so quick to change it up. They have that pressure towards mid. They lose a man up towards heaven, but they're immediately running it down deep towards A. Ryan just going huge. We're seeing how the, or excuse me, not Ryan. It was Sniper instead, the KO of his own. How this KO can just be played as a duelist, even when it's a no-duelist comp. I just love to see it. Such great impact out of the man. But now Ghost Gaming, ugh, this is this is pretty, like, 10-3 to 3 looking at that scoreline and... I don't know if they even want to force up here, right? They've tried forcing before. It's never really worked for them. So I appreciate that they are just going to save. They're going to try and come back from an 11-3 deficit. But they're still in the old tr college try to this round. They're running it down mid. But they're just getting gunned down. Quick as could be. Virtuoso mop it up. And it's iconic again. Just padding the stats there. 
working slowly up the list 22 and 5 on the killjoy and i had the same question in the last game when koala was just popping off there was no answer to the omen for ghost there's been no answer what do you do when you're just playing against somebody like this who is just having themselves an incredible game refusing to miss even on you take a peek at those eco rounds to kill all five or all four or all three that are looking at you shooting at you that's still incredibly impressive because everybody's looking to get chip damage so to be able to survive and find those eco frags when it's three players right in front iconic is just cannot miss here on split and has been a, a huge tool in the success of virtuoso obviously the whole squad doing their part not just the frags that matter you, you mentioned it before the utility has been on point now 11 to 3 ghost backs against the wall and you don't have a whole lot to defend with here in this one map point just around the corner Ghost here, they've cleared space all the way up towards B. That's a huge chunk of information, and that'll allow some leaning in towards the safe site. Vent control under the command of Virtuoso, but Ghost up towards Heaven still. It's Koala in with a shot onto Ely. Good start. Spike still yet to come, and I like the cut noise. They're waiting for the execution here. Slow or blind up. I think that's for the back corner of sight, so this is still a very doable round. It's a combo. Never mind. Apoth able to find one on to chase. Iconic grabs another and Koala just stuck on the site. It, nowhere to go and no answer. Absolutely no answer. Whether it be utility or gun duels, Virtuoso, they've just got the winning recipe here. They're looking to close things out. 12 to 3 on the horizon. Ghost have two remaining. And if you lose here, you're by into what could be the last round of the game. Is It's going to be abysmal. We'll see yeah. with the paint shells going through. He's looking to do some extra exit damage. It's iconic with the Spectre to find the spray down onto Nismo. The shot's just going to go wide from the rifle of the Rays. And Huynh forced to save. 12 to 3. Who would have thought after a 13 to 4 on Ascent that we would see Virtuoso battle back like this on map 2? I mean, I, on paper, this isn't the map for them, but it's just a defensive side diff, I feel like. Their defense was so strong. And now early on, we see these executes looking good. The executes were completely shut down this first game, but now they're finding impact. Like, that was a very set play. Slow orb lineup. Then you have uh, the Molly coming in in way of that fragment. It did, The lineup didn't hit, but the execute was still strong. That was the bonus round. They just won it. This game is likely over. This is really looking like a map three. Ghost is nine rounds down. If we take a look at the buy there mustering, it's nothing good. It's going to take a monumental choke from Virtuoso and just huge plays from Ghost to be able to pull this back into their position. And I mean, now looking at this, like Virtuoso, they're not slowing down, right? They're just keeping this consistent pace up. They, they change up their utility. This time it's a wall out towards A. This time it's pressure up towards mid. I mean, Ghost can't really know what to think. Virtuoso, well, they do love their executes. The way they play the early round still makes them a tough team to read. The B site here for Ghost, almost completely given up. Ryan, watching it from the Raptors, grab well. Gonna pull Nismo in and find the vulnerability, but a judge in hand could mean a disaster. Finds the first frag, flash comes through. One gonna be answered back, shots go out, but Iconic unnoticed inside the mail room. Swings the corner, not gonna find the running gun with the Phantom just yet. Shooting the toesies of Nismo. Not gonna net the kill, and the fragment pulses just wow. enough. Sniper oh, does it again. Another impact frag here for the KO to open up B Heaven. Giving it all up to Ryan to try and hold down the site with the Bulldog. Koala gonna take a bite out of Apoth. And grab Ghost Gaming, a one-player lead. Ryan, such a pivotal position for him to be in. Needs to find the frag that he will. Sniper cut down, so into this two versus four. And Ryan can get more done. No, it's iconic. Headshot instead. b site open for business. And a lockdown will buy lots of time. Wall towards spawn as well. This is very winnable. Ghost Gaming, three versus two. All in towards heaven. Iconic has the angle. And the spike goes down with a few seconds left on the lockdown. So that just gives you more time off the clock to play with for Virtuoso. It forces Ghost to play a bit faster, which there's a we've flank. seen how that went for him. Like you said, there's a flank. Lin trying to go deep on it here. Iconic has to hold it down on the site, and the wall is giving a safe haven some cover and concealment for just a moment. Anybody swinging the corner is not safe. No, Iconic goes down. Now it's all up to Lin, who flanked through heaven. 
Ice set towards the back of the site. I set towards B main. A tap on the spike and a frag for Koala means Ghost hang on one round longer. That's a, that's really great in the late round from Ghost. Being able to fall back, just play that three versus two in on the site. I don't know how I feel about that play. I think if you go aggro, you should go aggro together there. You know everyone's tucked in towards Evan. Try and take a fight because that flank was just too little too late. He committed to walking most of the distance, so just wasn't there to get anything done. Ghost to just is able to pull it into their command and... It was a really tough round in way of the money, but they're able to pull through. However, it's still a weird buy. And, and Virtuoso, that was like their second bonus round. So not a big deal for them to be losing that whatsoever. They still have this eight round advantage. Let's see what they're doing this time. It's that same Viper roll out towards A. This time, you have the Aster of Apoth fighting around it just a tad. So again, pressure towards mid. The knife reveals there's at least one here. And that likely lends the information that this is a default. Get ourselves another Viper lineup from Ely. A virtuoso with some rounds to spare. Gonna go right back to their set place. Might be able to toss out the fragment as well. Zero point. Go through, try and find the shutdown. The wall is up. It makes it a bit harder. Push onto the side. It actually corrals the team in. So, okay, they're going to go right to the new box. They're not looking to take the site normally. Unfortunately, they run right into the welcome arms of Ryan, who finds the first frag. A pot. Able to trade something back. Make it two. And Lynn hops on the board as well. Ghost. Don't have the read on the play. Virtuoso again with something wonky to get it done. Now they need to close it out. A 2v3 situation, this time in favor of Virtuoso. As that spike goes down, the no command going to stop the utility for just a moment. Ismo and Chase, to try and get something done. Ismo spots the head of one. Sniper, paint shells go through to try and push the KO away. Ely able to play just under the poison cloud. And well, if you're Ghost Gaming, you're running out of time. You got to find it right here, right now. You got to start pushing forward. And Ismo able to find one. Chase not able to find the next. Showstopper sent out, takes down Lynn. Now it's all up the chase with 11 HP, but running out of time. Needs to find a way onto the side. Needs to find the frag. No able way! to do it onto Sniper. And once more, Ghost Gaming will hang on. How, how does Ghost keep winning these rounds? They're a man down in that one, and they were just able to find every single frag. I, I think Lynn there made a bit of a misplay. He goes aggressive in towards spawn side, loses his life very early on. He could have been a playmaker if no one re-clears him, but they do. It's very astute. I mean, early on Virtuoso, I, I loved that, what, what they showed us. Because I think that normal wall can be kind of grief. It funnels you into utility. Whereas with that wall, they went up around it, were able to fight for that control towards back pillar. They garnered it all, but Ghost and Arike retake, name a better duo. It's now that gap is down to just seven. Screen goes up. This one, allowing for... I want to say safe passage, but it doesn't really feel like the right word, but it allows for concealment to push up into be heaven and into ropes without being spotted. Obviously, you can still be damaged, so you have the concealment. You don't have the cover. It doesn't seem to be a fake just yet as we're seeing another hit coming out from Virtuoso. Something on the inside. No way. Does that fragment... I... Okay, it looks like... It missed just a bit, didn't land as Chase playing around the one-way cage, able to find two on the round, absolutely huge to keep Ghost alive again, it's Nismo to bring up the rear, support the Cypher and find the second frag to close things out, 12 to 6, Ghost do it again, Virtuoso Mimi, they go back to their set play ways yeah. and it's just not working. Yeah, I'm having flashbacks to Ascent, man, I'm, so, I'm starting to get a little nervous for Virtuoso here. <laughs> Because they are just doing some very readable set plays, right? Like, early on, like, they were playing those defaults in, in kind of the pistol round. They were putting that pressure on early. Uh, I mean, Ghost didn't really know what to think. But now it feels like they're back into this lull of just execute one side. That doesn't work. Try again. Execute the other side. That doesn't work. Because the utility is always there like a good five seconds before. And the thing is, before it even hits, you can always look up. You can see that utility flying through the air. Rotate early. Ghost is doing that. They know where the site hit is before it's even fully committed, but now towards mid, ooh, Nismo gets one win there to support. Look dangerous, but now the spike's on the floor, and really, this has lost its gall. Chase, another there. The eco round, not getting too much done here for Virtuoso, unless these last two players can pull something crazy. 
Yeah, that was a, a really nice cam from Chase. It does end up getting spotted out, but it, it grabs so much information and, and knows just the angle to swing on that. And but for Ghost, obviously, you can't lose another round or else you lose the game. But more importantly, you don't want to lose any players because you don't want to have that, that one kind of uh, ink in your armor, I think is, is the term. You don't want to have that. You don't want to have somebody on a Spectre or somebody on Light Shields that can fall to something wonky from Virtuoso. We've seen these classics in this series absolutely insane. On the day, we've seen some insane classic plays. Yeah. So uh, trying to remain flawless in a round like this is, is one of the most important things on top of winning the round and well they're 30 seconds and two players away from doing so no chase caster cursed at its finest chase will fall so a small kink in the armor there zeely looks for some more not able to find it just yet both players playing together Ely finds a second win will fall the round will swing the way of ghost gaming but a bit of economic damage yeah, I mean, the damage is definitely good there. 712, dude. Ooh, this is way closer than it probably should have been for Virtuoso, man. Like, they, they had such a strong lead going into the half, even winning the pistol, the conversion, the round after that. And now it looks like it might start to slip. I mean, Ghost Gaming, now they have an operator online for win. And on a team so reliant on set plays, I feel like an op is a great counter because you just put position an op far forward while they're still getting ready, while they're still lining up that util, find that frag, and it completely can destroy that game plan. Also to be noted, this time it's not Koala, it's Win. This team has two oppers and either one can pick it up. Uh, I think we had an interview recently, I don't remember what team, but it's like, if one player's not feeling it, the other can just pick it right on up. And I love teams that can do that, that have multiple players who can fit each role. Flexibility is so huge in this game. So my initial thought, seeing the players, or I guess seeing the map and the agents picked was that we would have an op on the A site and op on the B site for Ghost Gaming. That's what I was thinking was going to happen. Obviously, you're kind of put in a tough spot being down 12 rounds to X. So, you know, maybe you're not opting into spending all the credits just like that. As a take into B Heaven, Flash comes through. Nothing off the back end, though. So just buying some attention, not quite buying a rotation as that spike. Still hanging out towards the spawn. 50 seconds on the clock. I would imagine Lin be the player to back up and pick that one up. No, it's actually the rotation all the way over from Apoth. Was playing out towards the A site for just a moment to grab the spike. Virtuoso might be looking to end towards the B site, but a lot of time off the clock. Koala in this position, that, if that cage get pop, gets popped, he's actually left. hidden from heaven. We saw it earlier. That could go huge. This is great positioning from Ghost, but they're about to get pinched on. Rotates a world away. The pressure is on chasing Koala here, and Koala has the first. And this is tough because they actually bought a rotation. Ryan left the site, so it only left two here. Chase with a nice cage. Able to pick up another on the site. Make it a third on the site. A third for himself. A fourth for himself as Chase gets it done. Holding it down. Solo dolo. Self-sufficient anchor, that is Chase, to be summarized. Just the rotations were still a world away. All three players committed towards that A site. His teammate falls with a one-for-one -one trade, and he just takes it in his own hands. Chase is not letting this map go anytime soon. Virtuoso, again, it started strong. Like, you saw they had such cool plays to get mid-control. Did you see that little molly that they kind of stuck on the edge to clear out the box up towards heaven? Like, I have a solution for everything. But you just can't find a solution for Chase. Another round on the board here. Another round with rougher economy for Virtuoso. They're just trying to send today. But again, it's a heavy setup here. Both Koala and Chase anchoring it down. In another round where you've got two objectives. The first to win the round. The next to take as little damage as possible. One kill already swings the way of Lin. Ryan there. Get Chase out of dodge. 10 HP on the Cypher makes it quite difficult to push. As a nice paint shells frag from Nismo is going to leave things all up to Apoth. We could find some more. He'll come through to top Chase off. Well, the Astra now in a tough spot. Oh my goodness. Still able to find one. So stealing away the live of two on the side of Ghost Gaming. They will secure the round. They're ninth now. As we take a peek at a 12 to 9 scoreline, nine ultimates available here in this one this is probably shaping up to be an explosive round mimi i think this is the round the virtuoso should be able to close out right they have they have the lockdown and that cosmic divide it's a great combo for a free site and then they have the pit to hold it down but 
Right on the other side, same can be said about Ghost. They have all five of their, of their alts for a retake. I'm really putting pressure with Ryan here because if he pops an alt once he knows where the execute is coming. Oh, wait a second. There's the showstopper. Sniper down. One player off the table. Virtuoso's plans have to change off of that unless the res can come through. But Ghost also know the res is the plan, so they're keeping the pressure on this body. And I think they saw the spike as well. Apoth able to find a frag past Ryan onto Koala. Ryan there to trade it back. The fragment to stop a push or delay anything further. Now that first frag from the showstopper was the one player on Virtuoso who didn't have an ultimate online. So although you didn't yeah. have your KO, you still had a handful of win conditions. So they are going to bring back the Apoth who has Cosmic Divide. They're going to leave, unfortunately, that KO down and out for now. So that one... Won't be joining us on the side of Virtuoso, but a 4v4, a resurrection still available for Ghost Gaming should another player fall. The body of the player fallen now, unfortunately, it's a bit too far out of reach. That Cosmic Divide allowing for the oh, same for the safe travels time. into ropes, but they're not headed that way. They're playing around it. There's a lockdown under heaven. Somebody's going to have to push through if they want to try and destroy that one, but it's just enough time to push everybody so far away from the A site. The spike surely to be planted. And no command comes through. Ryan maybe popping that one just a tad too early. Apoth not able to find a kill there, but it's iconic on the site. Picks one up onto the sage. So resurrection taken away. Neural theft is there. The information is there. Nismo able to find the frag. Lin goes down. Ely goes down. Iconic. The 1v3 looking to spray them all down. And Iconic almost does it again. But Ryan hangs on. Ghost Gaming to 10. Without Ryan's ult, they lose that round every day of the week because the pit comes out without that ult. The pit would come down. They would have likely been able to hold on, and the heroics almost were able to succeed regardless. But Ghost, I mean, that was well played to close it all on out. The aggression well-timed. They find the opener off of it, and there was so much time wasted that Virtuoso was locked in towards that play. Uh, the Cosmic Divide was super creative to push forward to get that lockdown into yeah. a super deep spot. But uh, for those of you that don't know, that KO ult is as wide as the spike detonation range. It, like, crosses half the map. So that completely denied any util. Came just down to the gunfights. And, well, thankfully for Ghosts, they were able to win it. Now Virtuoso. This is another round with really shaky money. Like, I think we're looking at 24th as the decider between OT and Virtuoso closing. This is really starting to slip away from them. Yeah, we go back to another set play. We'll see if this one reaps the same rewards. Apoth gonna push forward. Flash though, needs to be careful. Chase peeks away. Apoth able to go back. The shots on target. I mean, this is a low eco round, but they might just get it done. Virtuoso, stay a player ahead. Is gonna go wide on the op shot? Has some information. That's one player playing underneath heaven. But what about the one pushing heaven? Nismo in a tough spot will fall, but things get traded evenly. We find ourselves in a 2v2. Quinn now needs to find a body for a resurrection to put the numbers back in favor of Ghost Gaming, and it's Nismo to come back online. 45 seconds on the clock. That spike yet to be planted, but with the barrier orb going through, now the play has to be through main, has to be through heaven. It's three players still alive, and only one for Virtuoso. It's all up to Lin, who is strong on the defense, but now needs to do it again on the attack, and Nismo coming flying high will eventually fall. Nice couple of headshots, and speaking of headshots, Koala, Koala, excuse me, going to find three on the round. Ghost will push to 11, and you said it, Mimi. Round 24 is where we get our close or our overtime. Ghost have found a way to battle back from one hell of a deficit, and it would really be a shame to go out like this. Yeah, I mean, you would hate to see this for Virtuoso. I, I, Virtuoso can feel it slipping. There's been no tactical timeout, has? I don't think there has been. Mm -hmm. Which is so weird to me. If they just keep going for the same place, they haven't called the pause whatsoever. They're not going to do it here either. I don't know, man. Virtuoso, it, it, these attacking sides just feel one-dimensional. It's set play after set play after set play, and Ghost is shutting it down every single time. Money is up for both sides. Virtuoso still has two alts, and they're right on back to the A site, but Win is here, and Win has the angle, but it will be denied for the moment. Chase towards hell, ready to fight as Win finds a frag. Wow, Win gets one through the nebula smoke. Chase, and he gets sniffed out, taken down, playing towards hell. Win goes for a bit too much and bites off more than he can chew. There's that Viper's Pit that you were talking about. It's going to stop a push through screens as Ryan slowly creeps through the heavens of the A site. 
Nismo and Koala slowly bringing up the rear. A player down as a lockdown once more online. That's what happens when you continue to give frags over to your Killjoy. Nice fragment grenade. It's going to stop the lockdown, so it allows for, I want to say, a free push onto the site, but you still have not only the players to worry about, but quite possibly that Viper's Pit. Paranoia goes through. Sniper unaffected. Ely unaffected. Virtuoso looking to close things out right here, right now, as the clock is ticking down. Koala will fall. Ryan will fall. Iconic to close it out. What better way as Virtuoso push us to map three? I had the nine, I had the one dialed into my phone. I was ready to call an ambulance because I thought Virtuoso was going to choke that game, but they pull it back right at the last.